The listening castle is an image that shows the five purposes of communication in a different way. It also has a very compelling call for action for you. Let's look at these purposes through the lens of an image, the castle. Let's point out the purposes here. We've got informative and entertaining, which are, by the way, both outside of the castle. We have social, represented by the guard at the gate. Emotional and persuasive communication are inside the castle. Notice the shields on the castle. Build trust and rapport, get to know each other, make small talk, and uncover shared values. These all point to getting inside the castle and past the guard because there's a direct connection between social communication and emotional as well as persuasive. There usually needs to be some kind of a relationship established to be able to engage in both of these two purposes. That's not the case with informative and entertaining. That's why they're outside of the castle. You don't have to have a relationship with someone to be informed. You can watch TV, a news show, and get information without knowing the reporter. Same way with entertaining. You can enjoy something without knowing the entertainer. Let's look at our example from the last session. When the young engineer, John, was sharing his information with the team, especially with the director, the director was in rapt attention, probably because they have built up a solid relationship. Most likely, the director knows that John is an expert in his field, and they've probably spent time together. And so he's going to be much more willing to take in his message than if he just met John for the first time that day. When we look at the social communication, this becomes the bridge builder to emotional and persuasive communication. And so the big idea here is if you want to be invited inside the castle, you must engage the guard. And that means we need to elevate our level of social communication. I've prepared a listening aid card for you, the listening castle, which you can download and print off and keep handy to be mindful of the five purposes. The castle gives us a powerful message. Focus on social communication. Think about your bullseye five. How much time do you spend in relationship building on a daily basis with each of them? I know I can sure use some work. So the critical key here is if we want to get to the big talk, we've got to go through small talk first. In our next session, we're going to focus on the responding part of SEER and taking 100% responsibility.